Welcome back to our live in-depth coverage on the incredible advances happening right here in the Bay Area. Largo Medical Center is leading the way in the Tampa Bay Area with a breakthrough treatment that doctors say will allow them to treat patients who would otherwise remain in pain. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King tells us about a newly FDA-approved shockwave therapy removing calcium buildup in coronary arteries. Imagine waking up every day with chest pain, knowing calcium was clogging your arteries and there wasn't much doctors could do to help. I started with the uh, kidney stones and that's where the calcium build up and and that was what was in my arteries to also calcium build up. John Carantonis so is 64 that. years old. He's a diabetic and he smoked for most of his adult life. That's something he's working on. I'm not totally quit, but I've just about. He was at the point of needing open heart surgery. They'd had to take parts of my leg out and bust my chest open. And being a diabetic, I don't heal. So, you know, I could still be in the hospital. That's when his doctor reached out to Dr. Merrill Krolick at Largo Medical Center, knowing he was the first in the Tampa Bay area to offer a newly approved treatment called Shockwave. It's a special therapy that delivers sonic pulse waves to break up calcium. It was first approved for use in the legs, but the FDA just granted approval for the treatment in heart patients. This was huge and is a game changer because it's allowed interventional cardiologists to treat vessels that normally could not have been treated. Restoring quality of life safely and quickly. Once you do the technique, then you can go ahead and do angioplasty or stents but it's allowed a whole entire group of patients that can be treated now. So far, Dr. Krolik has performed the surgery on around 20 patients with no complications. His oldest patient, a 97-year-old woman, and his youngest, a 32-year-old. 32-year-old renal dialysis patient that um, had uh, polycystic kidney disease and unfortunately um, needed a kidney transplant. This allowed the patient to get on the transplant list for a kidney and the patient has had the kidney transplant and John Carantonis well, here's where the blockage was right here mm -hmm. and then let me show you the area after it's like see how nice and open here mm -hmm. right there who says he felt great within 24 hours of surgery I mean you, you got the smile on the face right now I mean because I'm not hurting all because of medical innovations restoring John's quality of life making him feel even better than before. Walking up a flight of stairs is a lot different than it, than it used to be. Uh, you know, I used to huff and puff halfway up and have to rest a little bit once I got up, you know, to 10 or 20 steps. And now it's like I can get up them. In Largo, McKenna King, ABC Action News.